Persistent pain is such a horrible, unrecognized and, and difficult situation to be in for people who are suffering with it. Um, it would be a lot easier sometimes if you had a cast on or people could see where the actual injury is because it's almost like that silent suffering that goes on. People can't really understand what you're having to cope with. Now, it takes over people's lives. It absolutely stops them from doing the things that they want to be able to do, but it also makes it completely impossible to be able to enjoy doing just the simple things in life. Just being able to do some things without effort and without strain and without pain. The everyday activities that the vast majority of us are, are lucky enough to be able to take for granted. It's a very difficult journey for people. Um, one of the most difficult things is all the, 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 the journey sometimes to find an actual diagnosis. And in the pursuit of this, there's often test after test after test. And specialists are trying to put a name or a label on, on conditions just to be able to put it into a certain category. A lot of the time this leads to a complete misdiagnosis. That with the information that's given about, about that issue on, on Google or on the internet or for, from neighbors or, or, or friends, or the approach that you receive from certain people, which usually involves stop doing things, you're gonna make things worse, you need this operation to happen, or we're gonna have this injection. Inevitably, those things don't work, and then you're stuck in this cycle of trying to find an answer. Where do I go to next? Lots of people out there offering a magic kind of fix or, or for these issues, and that's really not what works for ongoing persistent pain. But it's a long journey for people trying to find where to go to. Um, and in that time, the things that they value most in life generally are taken away from them. Now, if you're suffering like that, your mood is affected, your confidence is affected, a an overwhelming fear grips you where you become afraid of the pain and you start to move differently, move slowly, move stiffly, do less and less in order to try and avoid experiencing that horrendous pain, in order to try and avoid a flare up because when a flare up happens, it can be difficult for it to calm down and you're left alone to suffer with this. Now, um, it takes, it definitely helps if your, your pain is understood and it's understood by, by a therapist, but it's also, it also makes sense to you. And then it often involves you overcoming some challenges, whether that's the fear around moving again or looking forward, making some goals and working towards that. Very, very rarely is it ever the answer to stop doing things. Um, and the approach of, well, I need all my pain to go before I start doing stuff again, really needs to be turned on its head. It's more really that you need to start doing things again in your life in order for your pain to go. Your pain won't go until you start making moves to get your life back. That's the approach we take here at the clinic. We have a huge amount of experience in helping people who have tried and failed every other approach pain management programs, injections, physios, chiropractors, osteopaths, whatever specialist that's out there. Um, if you have any questions or you know someone who wants help with this sort of a situation, please reach out to us and we can, we can talk and then take it from there. Thanks.